Hi everybody. Today we're going to have a lesson. Three, twenty-four, twenty. It's a bonus lesson. It's not from the book. Midpoint, slope, midpoint formula, slope formula, and distance formula. So if you already know these, you're in really good shape. There we go. Um, we're going to start with two points. Negative 3, 4, and 2, negative 7. And we're going to do the distance formula with them to find the distance between them. So if you, knew the, if you know the distance formula, it's d equals the square root of x2, the 2 is down, not up, down, minus x1 squared, that's a squared, plus y2 minus y1 squared. Now it doesn't matter if this is x1, y1, and x2, y2, or switched, but usually we do this minus this. It doesn't really matter, you'll get the same answer. So we're going to do this x minus 6x. 2 minus negative 3 squared plus negative 7 minus 4 squared equals square root of minus and minus is a plus, so it's 5 squared plus, they're both negative, so it's negative 11 squared. Square root of 25 plus 121 the square root of 146. Um, 3 goes in there. Hmm. I wonder if we can take something out of 146. It's I don't think so. So we'll just leave it as 146. And then the slope formula, which you should have learned in Math 1, is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The important thing here is that you write the 2's as little. You're going to write the formula every time you use it. The twos are little, they're down, and it doesn't matter which one's y2 and y1 and x2 and x1, but if this is going to be y2, then that has to be x2. And if this is going to be y2, that has to be x2. You have to keep the same points above each other. So we're going to do negative 7 minus 4, negative 7 minus 4, over 2 minus negative 5. Negative 3, 2 minus negative 3. So we have negative 11 over 5 is the slope. You could do it in the opposite order and you'll get the same answer. And then we have midpoint. If we drew the segment with these points on a graph, we want to find the middle of the segment, this would be the midpoint x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. So three formulas for you to learn about. And then on Thursday we'll have you have a little weekly quiz on rhombuses, rectangles, and squares and these three formulas. So make sure you do the homework so you're good at the formulas. So you write the formula, and then we do negative 3 plus 2 over 2, and 4 plus negative 7 over 2. Negative 1 plus 2 is negative 1, half. 4 plus negative 7 is negative 3 halves, so that's the midpoint, and you just leave it like that. 
we're going to do two more slopes because there are special slopes that we can get. 3, negative 5, and 3, 2. So the slope would be, I'm writing the formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 equals 2 minus negative 5 over 3 minus 3. 7 over 0. Can we divide by 0? No. So it's undefined. It's a vertical line. Like this. It doesn't have a slope. The slope is undefined. And then the other one we're going to do m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 equals 6 minus 6 over 2 minus negative 3. 0 over 5 is just 0. So that's a slope. It's the answer. And it's a horizontal line. Like this. And you're going to do your homework number 101, which I'll post on Google Classroom. And maybe I'll post it on um, Remind as well. So that's our lesson for today. Thank you.